Okay, so the fall is over Sam Howell, a guy who I liked all right. I had a second round grade on him, goes here in the first pick of round five. So it's kind of funny how he'll be considered a fifth round pick now. If he was picked one spot earlier, he would have been considered a fourth round pick, which would have, you know, feels a little bit different. But regardless, a uh, fifth round pick, which the history of the NFL says will not work out. But obviously, you can't look at things that broadly. You have to instead look at this, you know, single player in a vacuum and when you think about it that way like I thought he had some better stuff on tape than the NFL did current uh you know clearly again I wasn't huge a huge fan of him I had him as my fifth favorite quarterback and I was you know at one point I had him as my sixth rated quarterback behind Zappy although I did flip those two uh the NFL has him as their sixth rated quarterback as he goes here in round five uh the interesting thing for me is I think this you could make the argument this means they're not totally sold on Carson Wentz, the Washington football team. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I would make that argument, though, because I think if that was the case, they would have drafted someone earlier. They would have drafted someone in the third who they liked instead of waiting all the way to this pick. I think they just like the value of like, hey, Wentz gets hurt a lot. Let's get someone who has some potential. And I like that pick. This feels like a steal at round five. Like this feels like how did he fall so far? This is really good value. Again, I am not a, a huge Sam Howell fan by any stretch of the imagination, but he has some like legitimately good like think traits about him. For one, we have seen him have some good tape. You know, I uh, you know I, I, if you guys don't know exactly how I do my evaluation, I don't do my evaluation like year by year. All I do is you know so it's this year 2022 draft. Then I look at all of the prospects and watch all their films. So I, you know, I have no opinions on Bryce Young, for example, because I haven't started watching his film yet. I'll watch it when he's about to get drafted. For Sam Howell, he was considered by many to be a potential first overall pick. So what a fall from grace he has had going from first overall to first pick in the fifth round, certainly. But the flip side is, well, if some people thought he could be that good, uh, you know, after last year, okay, this, you know, this most recent year wasn't great tape-wise, but at least he has that year on tape. So if you are taking a flyer on someone, at least you have that. And I think that's a, a good thing. That's a, a pro, not a con, certainly, for Sam Howells and for the Washington football team. So that's the immediate thing that I think about. Another thing I think about with this selection is Carson Wentz has a history of getting hurt. If you remember, that's what happened with Jalen Hurts, right? He was kind of a later second round pick uh, who I liked. I had a first round grade on Hurts, uh, even though, you know, an imperfect player. But, you know, I thought his, the stuff that he did well would translate to the NFL. Uh, but one, you know, the only reason that Hurts, it seems like Hurts got drafted kind of to be sort of this uh, Taysom Hill type guy, but then Carson Wentz didn't play well. We ended up seeing Hurts get a shot and Hurts did well. You could see a very similar situation here, I think. I don't think it's crazy to think that Sam Howell is someone who we could end up seeing uh, get some legitimate playing time. Uh, just because A, Wentz could get hurt, or B, Wentz could suck. Like, that's a very legitimate possibility. Yes, Wentz is getting a lot of money, but, uh, you know, you could still try something else. So, is he going to be a day one starter? I don't think so. I think that Washington is, they feel good about Carson Wentz. They wouldn't have traded him, traded for him with all that, you know, with his big contract if they didn't at least like him. But what this does is it gives you some insurance, and you're not going into the season with only a plan A. If, you, if you're not sure with, at the quarterback position, you always want to have a plan B. That's what this is, so I like it. But that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.